fourth and last day of the Future Blockchain Summit at Dubai Harbor. I'm Ronella Hernandez, and I'm sitting here with Janet, who is the COO of SingularityNet. Who are you? Ornella, <laughs> beautiful to meet you. I'm very, very well, thank you. Having a wonderful time here at Future Blockchain Summit. Yeah, what do you think so far? Have you learned anything, any insights you can share with us? I've learned there are a lot of very brilliant people working on artificial intelligence. I've seen some incredible speakers, some really high standards. The level of education and understanding of AI is really high here. I'm an AI specialist and it's lovely to just be among my people and particularly that intersection between AI and blockchain because that's what SingularityNet is. Right, right. So tell me a little bit more about that then. First off, what does it mean to be an AI specialist and how does artificial intelligence intersect with blockchain technology? Well, after having a couple of decades working in banking risk and technology, I decided in 2017 to study artificial intelligence and I completed a master's in AI. And I now run AI teams at SingularityNet and I have the great, great privilege and honor of working for what I consider, who I consider to be the world's leading AI mind, which is Dr. Ben Goertzel. So I guess when I say I'm an AI specialist, I mean I'm an AI, a qualified AI expert with the great privilege and honor of bringing Dr. Ben Goertzel's incredible visions into execution as COO of SingularityNet. What does it mean in blockchain? We're the OGs of AI on crypto. We're one of the biggest projects, if not the biggest AI project on, on crypto. And blockchain is the fabric of decentralization. It enables our open source, democratically governed AIs to really be developed and used for the benefit of all humanity. All right, and so what is the aim and the vision or the mission behind SingularityNet? You mentioned the, the AI token, and I know you have humanoids also. So what, what's, what's the end goal here? The end goal? <laughs> is a positive, beneficial singularity for the benefit of all humanity. Do you know what a singularity is, Ornella? I'd love to hear it from you, Janet. The singularity, in my words, is, well, it was actually coined by Ray Kurzweil, who's a scientist and sci-fi writer, Ray Kurzweil, and a friend of, of Ben Goertzel. The singularity is that moment in time when computers are smarter than humans. We think it's coming sooner than anybody expected. But it's coming for sure. But it's, well, there are those who say it will never happen, so we can't say for sure, but we certainly are absolutely strong in our conviction that it is coming. Okay. And our sole mission is that SingularityNet is the organization with our decentralized development on open source that develops these most powerful AI ever invented called AGI, Artificial General Intelligence. Oh, okay. And that that intelligence, that phase shift for humanity into a new era where there's a technology smarter than us, heralds a new dawn for humanity. A dawn that's positive and beneficial to everyone. Is it also a little scary though? <laughs> It is a little scary if it's not us who get there first. If it is big tech, or if it is a government, or if it is a military organization who beat us to that, that technology that is going to be super powerful, then yes, we don't know what the outcomes will be. Even with us developing it, we can't predict the future. But our best bet, we believe, is a diverse and inclusive community governing and overseeing the development of these technologies, involved in the development of these technologies, with constant focus on positive beneficial impact on humanity and democratizing access to the technology generated wealth, which this next wave of industrial revolution is going to bring. All right, so part of these developments I know includes humanoids. So if you could tell me a little bit more about the famous Sophia the robot and her sister. <laughs> well, so we have three beautiful humanoid robots that we work with. There is, of course, the Sophia robot, the iconic creation of David Hansen, Dr. David Hansen, brilliant uh, technologist and innovator. And Dr. Ben Goetzel, our founder, was previously chief scientist of, of Hansen Robotics. 
And we now have a JV. We have a spin-off called Sophiaverse, which is working to bring open source development and, and decentralized development of AI to Sophia's hive mind, with an ultimate goal being that AGI will develop from this hive mind. And we also have two beautiful sisters of Sophia. We have Grace, who's an elderly healthcare robot, who was developed to look after people in their time of need, in their twilight hours, providing unconditional loving, compassion and kindness and, and helping them with functions like ordering lunch or taking temperature, etc. And we have the Desdemona robot, who's the youngest and the newest of the sisters. Desdemona is a pop star. She also plays as leading lead singer of the Desdemona's dream band. And what these humanoid robots bring us is, A, they bring us actual AI in interaction with actual real world, but B, they help people to interact with and understand AI better. And I very, very often see people queuing up to speak with one of our robots and they're nervous well, queuing up. A curiosity, up. I think. No? A curiosity, yeah. but also people can be quite nervous and sometimes even shy and reluctant. But what I see within two to three minutes, I see them laughing. I see them communicating with our incredibly empathetic robots. And I see that breakdown of fear. And there's so much fear mongering in the press about artificial intelligence that what our robots do is they help people to understand that there's also an incredibly bright possible future for AI. Does this mean that we can expect an army of humanoids? <laughs> um, army? Like many. Many, many. many. So well, because, because I'm looking at some of the robots around here today, which would be far better in, a, in an army than our humanoids. Yeah, our I, humanoids I, I interacted with a robo dog yesterday. Ro I know, right? they're yeah. so cute. I really <laughs> totally have to have one. Yeah. <laughs> but um, certainly we will say by the end of this decade, hardware develops slower than software and the pace of AI development at the moment is exponential. Certainly we will say yes. We will see humanoid robots fulfilling a huge amount of the boring drudgery jobs that humans do today, freeing them up to do higher level work and, and, and bring their human creativity to the fore. And we'll certainly see industrial robots as well, performing all of the um, industrial and, and manufacturing roles. So yes, we're going to see a huge growth in the number of robots over the next few years. All right, and since we are talking about the future, how do you envision the future of blockchain looking like? What would you like it to look like? We envisage a future where we're running the most powerful artificial general intelligence tools ever invented on blockchain. And if you look at the adoption rates of something like ChatGPT, well, not something like, of ChatGPT, yeah fastest growing product in the history of humanity, but it has severe limitations. It hallucinates, it has no reasoning capability, and it's not grounded in any knowledge. By building knowledge graphs on, and knowledge graph tools for developers on our marketplace, we're aiming, with Zarka, based here in the Middle East, we're aiming to develop the next generation of powerful, smart, neural symbolic, hybrid large language models and imagine when they don't hallucinate and are genuinely creative and can be programmed with regulation and ethics imagine the adoption levels there so we see this ai revolution dramatically increasing the span the reach and the adoption of blockchain and crypto generally all right i can't wait for that future <laughs> all right thank you ornella i'm really enjoying this present with you and your oh. audience <laughs> well thank you so much for your time today Dan. thank you so much lovely to meet you